the whole thing is, is magical. They're really going to put a record on a spacecraft and shoot it out of the solar system? Really? This is uh, really something. On the Voyager record, you know, the guy is standing like this, and it's the universal greeting. Three, two, one. We have ignition, and we have liftoff. We have liftoff of the Titan Centaur carrying the first of two Voyager spacecraft to extend man's senses farther into the solar system than ever before. Playing the record is very straightforward. You're an alien, you find a spacecraft, and, uh, you capture it without damaging it, looks at the plaque, recognizes that these two circles must represent a hydrogen atom. I mean, clearly, how hard could that be? And then you just trace the hydrogen atom cycling rate along the lines that indicate the pulse rate of certain pulsars that are configured in the cosmos. So you could easily home in on where the Earth is by just counting those binary uh, symbols. Piece of cake. And then play it at what turns out to be 16 and a half RPM, revolutions per minute, Earth minutes. This is going to spin in Earth units at 16 and a half revolutions per Earth minute. It's nothing to it. Once it's going, but it's just cool that if an alien civilization found this thing, they would spend time, time, time trying to figure it out. Voyager 1, Voyager 2 are going to leave the solar system. It's just irresistible. Let's put a message on them. The same way you put a message in a bottle and throw it in the Earth's ocean. Yes, it would be great if someone on the other side of the world found your bottle with your message in it and wrote back to you or contacted you. That would be cool. Hello from the children of planet Earth. When you write that message, you're writing it for yourself. You're really not writing it for the per person or people who are going to find it. And so the Voyager plaque and record was this opportunity for humankind to reflect on itself, for us to think about ourselves. I send greetings on behalf of the people of our planet. We step out of our solar system into the universe seeking only peace and friendship to teach if we are called upon, to be taught if we are fortunate. The message of the Secretary General about peace and working together and improving the quality of lives of people is wonderful and worthy, especially today. Since the Voyager spaceships have left the solar system, the Golden Records may one day be the only remaining evidence of humanity. So it was an important undertaking to prove not only that there was life on Earth, but to capture the essence of human civilization and culture in all its forms. Even in the case that the Golden Records are not played during their billion-year journey, the undertaking of the Voyager project reminds us of who we are, where we came from, and that we should treat the Earth and each other with care. We are made of stardust, so you and I, all of us, are at least one way the universe knows itself. And that just fills me with reverence every day. Every day I'm amazed by that. Let's work together to change the world. Let's go. It's going to be exciting. <laughs>